Hi everyone and Happy New Year! I hope you all enjoyed a joyous Christmas. Thank you for joining me today on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and as we move into the new year, I have lots more exciting stories to share with you. Today's book is called Mice Skating. This is a sweet story that's been written by Annie Silvestro and illustrated by Tegan White. During the cold winter months, most field mice take cover, tunneling deep underground, burrowing into farmhouse walls, nesting in hollow logs. But not Lucy. She loved the feeling of snow crunching under her paws. She loved how the frosty air made her whiskers freeze. And most of all, she loved wearing her fluffy wool hat with the pink pom-pom on top. It did more than keep her head warm. It kept her heart warm too. It made her brave. It made her bold. It made her bloom. Lucy loved winter. Her friends did not. Your fur is freezing, said Mona, when Lucy came inside. Your nose is dripping, said Millie. Your teeth are cheddaring, said Marcello. I know, said Lucy. Isn't it wonderful? She asked her friends to join her, but they wouldn't budge. We're comfy and cozy, they said, warm and toasty till spring. So Lucy donned her hat and dashed outside, all by herself. She caught snowflakes with her tongue, flapped her arms to make snow angels and built snow mice, lots of snow mice. But Lucy wanted to share winter with her friends. So she tried bringing it to them. First, she brought snow cones, then a giant icicle. She even planned an indoor snowball fight. It was a soggy flop. Please come outside, begged Lucy. Not till it's warm, said Mona. Not till the flowers bloom, said Millie. Not unless that snow is made of mozzarella, said Marcello. One day, Lucy skidded on an ice patch. She slipped, she slid, she soared. Lucy couldn't wait to try again. She fashioned skates out of pine needles and scurried to the pond. At first she wobbled. She fell more than once, but with practice, soon she was ice skating. Her tail twirled with joy. She couldn't let her friends miss out on this. So Lucy gathered supplies and returned underground. Finally come to your senses, asked Mona. Ready to thaw out, squeaked Millie. Tired of being prove alone, asked Marcello. Lucy hummed happily. You'll see, she said. Lucy skated every day. Then she danced back to her burrow, trailing bits of yarn or piles of pine needles. The other mice wondered what she was doing, but Lucy didn't say a word. She just kept working quietly in her room. Her friends grew more and more curious. What on earth are you up to? asked Mona. Don't keep us in suspense, said Millie. We must pecori no, cried Marcello. After a few finishing touches, Lucy was finally done. She placed a new hat on each mouse's head. These will keep you warm, she said, inside and out. The mice marveled at their new hats. I have something else to show you, said Lucy. Follow me. And to her surprise, they did. One by one, the mice emerged from underground. Lucy ushered them to the pond. Then, as the sun twinkled across the ice, Lucy took off. 
She spiraled and swirled, swizzled and twizzled, looped de looped. She was flying. Marvelous, cried Mona. Spectacular, called Millie. Brevissimo, cheered Marcello. We want to try, squeaked her friends. Lucy handed them their skates. Then they teetered onto the ice. They wobbled. They fell. But with practice, soon they were mice skating. Wee, squealed Mona. What fun, squeaked Millie. Who knew winter could be so gouda, said Marcello. I did, said Lucy, beaming. The mice cheered. And together, they bloomed like spring. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like your own copy, please see below in the description for the link. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. I hope to see you tomorrow for another fun book. Bye.